In this video, you're going to learn how to start and grow your coffee shop. Now, the challenges that entrepreneurs are facing regarding to starting their coffee shop is very vague information. So what does this mean is that when you're searching online and you're looking for, you know, how to start your coffee shop and how to go about even approaching your coffee shop, right? There's a lot of very vague information that doesn't really tell you the exact steps that you need to take in order to build your coffee shop. So for example, if we go and type in how to start a coffee shop on Google search, as we scroll down, we'll see a couple of posts and one post in particular. Okay, now in this post particular, coffeeshopstartups.com, and the blog article is called How to Start a Coffee Shop Successfully. Now, as we scroll down here, we can see um, How to Start a Coffee Shop, 30 Steps to Opening opening Your Coffee Shop. And it says here, as we scroll down, you basically can see, it tells you, determine if starting a coffee shop is right for you. Now, that's a very vague information because you know that coffee shop, if, you, if, if you're going to start a coffee, if you're going to start a business in particular, right, you should already have made that evaluation that, this is the right path for me to take based upon X, Y, and Z situations, right? Because the thing about when you're starting a business, right? You want to make sure that you're identifying the circumstances, right? And then you want to also look into yourself as to, okay, am I in the right position to be able to start this business in this particular area based upon X, Y, and Z? So, and also this ties towards learning about how to do market research. So we're going to show you how to do market research so that you can be able to have a better jump start when starting your coffee shop business. Also, visit thecafeacademy.com to get your free copy of the Cafe Starter Business Guidebook. This book will set the foundation and give you tips and strategies to get your coffee shop started, such as learning the secrets of a successful coffee shop and four key winning strategies to implement before starting your coffee shop. Links will be provided in the description below. Alrighty, so we're gonna draw a diagram here. Essentially, this is how we're gonna go how we're going to approach doing market research. So on the first, we're going to create a first line right here. And the lines are going to represent the streets. So we'll make a second line right underneath. So the first line is going to be called Street A. So we're just going to get our text tool here. We're going to put Street A, A Street. Put that right over here. Okay, great. Now, the second line is going to be B Street. So we're going to put B Street right over here. B Street. Okay, good. Alrighty, now on A Street, we're going to have two competitors. So we're going to uh, get an icon here. We're going to put that there. So we're going to put this image here. That's going to be one of your competitors. So this is who you're going to be competing with. Let's make that small right there. And we put it right on top. Now we get another image. And get another coffee shop image. We're going to desize it down. Okay, good. Now we're going to put that on top. Right. So now, as we can see here, on A Street, you're going to have two competitors. And on B Street, you're going to have zero competitors. So now we've got to ask ourselves, what are some of the strategies that we're going to implement to increase our likelihood of profitability when launching our coffee shop. Now, in this case, we have two choices that we can make. We can decide to compete with these other two coffee shops. To achieve this, we would have to come up with a very unique value proposition in order to gradually pull customers away from your competitors to your coffee shop. If you decide to start your coffee shop near your competitors and you don't have a strong value proposition, your coffee shop is more than likely to fail. So now let's assume that there aren't enough pedestrian on B Street to render your coffee shop profitable then your best option is to start your business on A Street. So now, how do we create a value proposition to increase your likelihood of success if you decide to start your coffee shop where your competitors are? One of the first things we need to do is to identify their weakness. We need to find out where they fall short and how we can rectify this through our business. Let's say, for example, that both of these coffee shops only sell coffee and they don't have sufficient food and bakeries for sale. If they're only selling coffee, we can capitalize on being a coffee shop that also supplies food and bakeries. Another thing we can do is to look at the reviews that both of these coffee shops have on Google and see what customers' complaints are. From there, we will be able to look for more weaknesses that they have and turn their weaknesses into our strengths. These are some of the ways to conduct market research. 
The goal of market research is to identify any opportunities in which you will be able to achieve success and to develop an action plan on how to achieve those goals. Now, if you're unable to construct a value proposition, the best thing to do is to not start your business in that particular area and look for somewhere else. When it comes to attracting prospective customers, they're always looking for the best of everything. And that includes the best coffee shop to go to. Some of the factors that involve a great coffee shops are the quality of the interior design, the staffs, and the quality of the coffee and products. Now, this is actually the reason why most coffee shop companies fail because they miss the important step of doing market research to assess whether their business is going to succeed in a given area. Because the best way to look at things is if your competitors are already satisfying your potential customers and you believe that you may not be able to compete with them at this point in time, the best strategy is to retreat and look somewhere else where you can dominate as of now. Then as your business begins to grow and you start to make investments and deals, you can go back to that area and completely dominate and beat your competitors. Now, if you're looking to start achieving your dreams by growing your coffee shop, get the Coffee Shop Master Course by visiting thecafeacademy.com. The Coffee Shop Master Course contains over three hours of valuable information that will change your life. This course is designed to show you how to start and grow your coffee shop with little or no money. You will learn how to write your own business plan, how to draft your own floor plan, how to finance your business, how to find coffee shop suppliers, how to attract investors to invest in your business, and much more. We highly recommend this course to entrepreneurs looking to grow their coffee shop and looking for practical step-by-step -step lectures that will take them from point A to point B. Now, what are some of the challenges that you are facing as a coffee shop entrepreneur? Leave your comment below and also hit the like button and click subscribe to stay tuned for future videos that will be helpful and add value to growing your coffee shop.